Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss secure electronic transaction. That's a portion in principles of information security in module six. So in the last video about credit card payment system, I have discussed about the need of three uh, or three concerns about using SSL in credit card payment and the need of SET. So what is SET? SET is a system which ensures security and integrity of electronic transactions done using credit card. Here we have the same actors that's a customer, a merchant, a permanent gateway, then bank of issuer, bank of the customer, then acquire bank of the merchant. Now who are the, uh, the participants? Cardholder, issuer, merchant, acquirer and a certificate authority. The authority which follows certain standards and issues to or certificate to all the participants. What are the features of SET or what are SET going to provide? SET provide mutual authentication that is customer authenticates to merchant and merchant in turn authenticates to customer. Also, it provides confidentiality for both PI and OI. What is PI and OI? Payment information and order information that's created by the customer and it is sent to merchant and payment gateway. Okay. Also, it pro provides integrity that is prevent message modifications and provide interoperability. So, this is the working of SET. Before describing about this, let me go to the figure you can clearly understand it from this picture. So who are the actors here? Customer, merchant, merchant's bank that is acquirer and customer's bank that is issuer. And now in the first step, customer browses and decide to purchase. After uh, finding a product to purchase, he will decide to purchase it. Then at the time onwards, SET starts to work. In the second step, SET sends an order and payment information that is OI and PI to merchant. Third step, merchant forwards the payment information to bank whereas OI he will keep with himself. It's for him but PI is to the bank. Fourth step, bank checks with the issue for payment authorization that is he check with the issue bank about the credit card details like uh, expiry of the credit card, validity of the card, uh, credit balance in the card, etc. If all these things are okay, then the issuer will issue authorization to the merchant's bank in the fifth step. And the sixth step, bank authorizes the payment. Seven, merchant completes the order with the customer. Okay. And then eight, Merchant captures the transaction. So the transaction is complete. Now what's the next last step? Issuer after the transaction is complete sends the credit card bill to the customer. So this is the overall working of an SET in connection with credit card payment system. So these are the components of the message that's transmitted in the SET transaction. You can see there are three uh, entities, customer, merchant and payment gateway where the order information and the PIMD that is payment information message digest for the message. Then the digital signature and certificate of the customer for the PG and all those things are encrypted with a key and transferred to M then M will forward it to PG. Okay, so these are the things. Now. What are the functionalities I told you? Authentication, confidentiality and integrity. The next one is an important one. This is the portion which, uh, which was asked for the last year exam. Computation of digital signature. It's a main feature of SET. SET computes a digital signature. So what it do is initially customer creates an OI and PI order information and payment information and forwards it to M. Then M retains OI and forwards PI to PG. Already I told about this. What are the things included in PI? It includes a credit card number CCN, transaction amount and a secret S. All these are encrypted with a key K and again encrypted with the PG's public key. 
So C computes digital signature and forwards to M and PG where M and PG will verify it. So what is this dual signature? It's equal to the PI is hashed and OI is hashed. Both these are concatenated again hashed and it is encrypted with a key. That is what is digital, I mean dual signature. Here there is the figure for dual signature. From the left I will start. Payment information is hashed with a SHA secure hash algorithm SHA1. You will get the product PIMD payment information message digest. And similarly OI order information is hashed again with SHA1. You will get the product order information message digest OIMD. So this PIMD and OIMD is combined concatenated. You can see a concatenation simple. Again this product is hash with SHA value. So what you will get payment order message digest POMD and this is encrypted with a key. The key is called KRC which is customer's private signature key and the final product is called dual signature. This dual signature is passed to merchant and the merchant will pass it to the payment gateway. Okay. By the way merchant will check for the uh, order information message digest to verify it and the payment gateway will check for the PIMD pay payment information message digest. So when you study this figure and its explanation it's very for easy for you to attend this question. So what happens is the merchant and PG in order to verify dual signature it needs a certificate. This certificate is done by the customer and the format of the certificate is a pseudo random function with a secret key S and a and the CCN value. Okay. And PG extracts this S and CCN from the PA also it get it from the pseudo random function and it verifies the same. Now, what are the strengths and weakness of SET? When you come strength of SET, it's secure to protect users' credit card number and personal information. It is hardware independent. There is a worldwide usage of it. Confidentiality is provided, integrity is provided, and provide authentication for the cardholder and the merchant. What about weakness? Users must have a credit card. That is a long procedure as you know. It's not cost effective when the payment is very small. None of anonymity and it is traceable. Network effect need to install client software if it is needed like e-wallet. So that's about it. Thank you.